Kennedy, the all-left propaganda media is still trying to recover from President Trump's historic beatdown yesterday, and that is tonight's opening monologue. All right, so Snowflake anchors and reporters, they're whining, complaining about President Trump daring to call them out yesterday. Now, let's run through some of the examples. Over at NBC, Chuck Todd was so incensed by the president's press conference, he tweeted, quote, this is not a laughing matter. I'm sorry, delegitimizing the press is un-American. No, you did it to yourself, Chuck. Now, the president is defending himself from what is an out-of-control media bias, and somehow he's calling that un-American? Now, of course, Chuck wasn't done there. He also compared President Trump to Richard Nixon. Let's watch this. A lot of this press conference had to do with the president airing grievances about the press. And, I, you know, we got to remember what this is. It's a political tactic. It's one that is a familiar one. But he is going, going at it in a way we haven't seen a president do since Nixon in those early 70s. Oh, really? Chuck Todd? He's probably upset because he's one of the biggest purveyors of all this fake news. Now, it wasn't that long ago when he falsely claimed that the president's temporary travel ban, including a religious test. That's a lie, Chuck. That's fake news. Remember this. President Trump suspended the U.S. refugee program for 120 days, closed the borders on passport holders from seven Muslim-majority countries for three months, and barred Syrian refugees indefinitely. And Mr. Trump established a religious test for refugees from those Muslim countries, allowing an exception for Christians and others from minority religions. And there's Brian Williams over at NBC. Now, let's take a look at the kind of fake news that was said in response to a comment that a guest made on his show. Watch this. That is the most basic function of a free press in, this, in our society. And the president's response to that was to, to have a, a semi uh, a meltdown and to accuse us all of, of purveying fake news when, in fact, his own actions, which were to, fi to fire General right. Flynn, proved that that news was spot on. It was 100% accurate. Because when you reduce the media enough in prestige, uh, uh, they, when they do report facts, uh, those facts are diminished. All right, Brian, speaking of reducing the prestige of the all-important, all-arrogant media, you may remember you lied repeatedly. Remember the helicopter that you were supposedly flying in in Iraq and it was coming under attack? Or remember you reported and talked about seeing a dead body floating past your hotel after Hurricane Katrina? By the way, a location, there was no water and no dead body. But the anchors over at NBC News, they're not alone. CBS News also could not resist lashing out at the president. Watch this. Today, we learned the length of the president's fuse, 28 days. After four weeks of being blocked by courts, challenged by Congress, and held to account by the public, President Trump called a hasty news conference and went on offense with the familiar tools that built his career. Bluster, bravado, exaggeration, and a few loose facts. Wouldn't Pravda be so proud? And ABC News, they, get it. they got in on the Trump-hating action also. Why would they miss out? That was the most amazing press conference by a president I have ever seen, and I've been watching it since the mid-70s. And I don't mean amazing and great. I mean amazing and spectacular insight into Donald Trump and his state of mind today. To me, when you have presidents take office, many of them are empowered and get bigger. I, do you think you have a president in that press conference that looked smaller and actually more insecure in his position? All right, that leaves us now with CNN, the Clinton News Network. They're consistently biased Trump bashing coverage. Now, that drew the attention of the president at yesterday's presser. And sure enough, the commander in chief, he let him have it. And I loved every minute of it. Take a look. I'm not okay when it is fake. I mean, I watch CNN, it's so much anger and hatred and just the hatred. I don't watch it anymore because it's very good. He's saying no. It's okay, Jim. It's okay, Jim. You'll have your chance. If I may follow up on some of the questions that have taken place so far here, sir. Well, not too much. You, know, you do have other people. You do have other people. And your ratings aren't as good as some of the other people that are waiting. You look at your show that goes on at 10 o'clock in the evening. You just take a look at that show. That is a constant hit. The panel is almost always exclusive anti-Trump. 
The good news is he doesn't have good ratings. Should I have a, let him have just a little bit more? This, sit down. Uh, uh, sit down. Just, we'll, just, we'll because of the, we'll get just because of the attack of fake news and, and uh, attacking our network, I, I just want to ask you, sir. I'm changing it from fake news, though. D doesn't that undermine? Very fake news. I know, but aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Not only was he presidential, not only was he being honest, but he's being funny. And as you can imagine, CNN, the Clinton News Network, is not happy about getting called out. Here's how Jake Tapper responded immediately after. Jake, uh, you know, I think all of us were pretty much stunned by the course of this hour and 15 minute appearance. Hey, look, everybody at home just needs to, needs to ask themselves, how would you react if that were your boss coming in and giving a speech to the, the employees where you work? How would you, how would you react if that was somebody in your family that you were trying to have a conversation with? President Trump, if you're watching, you're the president. You legitimately won the presidency. Now get to work and stop whining about it. Mm -hmm. The sting in any rebuke is the truth. They're having a hard time accepting the truth that they're abusively biased. Wasn't that the network that fed questions to Hillary Clinton? Anyway, then they colluded, of course, with that campaign. President Trump has not stopped working, and that's not all. CNN decided it was appropriate to actually mock the president by sending out a tweet with a video that reads, quote, turn your sound up and watch President Trump conduct an amazing symphony, a uh, press conference. Here's the video. <laughs> That's what we get from a real news network? By the way, uh, Jake Tapper, Jim Acosta, uh, you want to defend that as news? Or is that Saturday Night Live? Anyway, one of many reasons why the president keeps calling CNN fake news. Now, more importantly, here's what this all means. Everything you just saw amounts to a giant, huge temper tantrum from a bunch of overpaid, spoiled brats, so-called journalists, who finally got called out for their bad behavior. So all the members of the media, they can be mad all they want. It doesn't change the fact how biased, how lazy they are, and how abusive they've been towards the 45th president. And in case they don't remember, here are some more examples. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. It's real. Miller also lying this weekend about the it's three million presidency. votes. There was no BS to it tonight. He honestly, obviously believes everything he said today. The way he said it was so manic. Pretty unbelievable. And by the way, the New York Times, they're just as bad as CNN. They had to reprimand a reporter this week for making a vile comment about the first lady, Melania Trump. They also quoted a fake Michael Flynn Twitter account. And the so-called paper record, they tweeted an image of a late night show video that had Stephen Miller, who works for the president's head, on a stick. You know what? We're all sick of it. A brand new Fox News poll shows that compared to President Obama, 68% of registered voters say the media has been a lot tougher on President Trump. Now, we've also shown you repeatedly on this show how the alt left propaganda media misrepresents the president and his policies. So, you know what, yesterday? The president drew a line in the sand, he called them out, and he said, enough is enough, and he did it in a very even measured tone. And you can guarantee that if the media gets out of line again, I expect the president to hit him back again. Why shouldn't he? The truth matters. And the people that are suffering from an information crisis are you, the American people. Here with Reaction, Fox News contributor Herman.